All right, so this is our simulator here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the autopilot. And what I wanna show is, we've been talking about bringing data in and representing it visually, but we're not just limited to visual representations. We can represent other critical flight data in an audio fashion. And there are two areas in which we have particularly felt like this makes sense. The first one has to do with angle of attack. So a lot of people are aware of things like stall warnings. In the real airplane, a stall does not happen just all at one time. So as we approach a stall, what we did is we came up with a sound, which is sort of emulates a kazoo in like an old 172, where you start to hear a little bit of a sound. And as you get closer and closer to the stall, the volume increases and eventually the pitch starts to increase to give you a much more accurate depiction of how close to a stall you are. The second piece that we included is proximity over the runway. Landing flare is one of the trickiest parts to get accurate all the time, and it's particularly challenging when you're going from one aircraft to another. When you let another pilot fly your airplane, most of the time you're okay with them doing the takeoff and maybe flying around, but you start getting nervous about the time it's time for them to touch down because the sight picture is different for essentially every airplane. With the audio, we can make the experience of the landing flare identical for every airplane and help you get a really smooth landing every time. These call-outs that you're hearing now are probably pretty familiar. You'd hear, you'd hear these on an airliner. But what's really going to be different and unique is what you're going to hear in about the last 30 feet in this airplane. In the last 30 feet, you're going to hear an oral but non-verbal indicator of how hard we are. That's awesome. And there you go. <laughs> and it doesn't matter even if you've never flown this, even though it's on a simulator, which obviously you have no depth perception right. in, that audio cadence can make it where you can land every airplane every time uh, really because cool. it gives you the same uh, experience in, in ah. doing that. In the real aircraft, we actually use a LiDAR, a commercially off-the-shelf available oh, yeah. LiDAR, to be able to measure that height. Mm -hmm. And it's just a few hundred dollars, and we just have it right on the bottom. Yeah, you're a little radar altimeter almost. Uh, you're right, but it's just it's using a laser. It, right, yeah. yeah. Laser. And the only reason we use LiDAR, or LiDAR instead of radar altimeter is because, of course, it's a lot less yeah. expensive right. for the, uh, the LiDAR than right. most radar altimeters that exist today. Yeah. Aero TV is brought to you by Continental Motors Group. Manned and unmanned, Continental has been a pivotal part of aviation and aerospace history and wants to be a part of your mission. Gas or diesel, certified or experimental, Continental is investing in your future. www.continentalmotors.aero It's called AirText Plus. The mobile office is now a true, cost-effective win-win reality. Because being available and part of the communication chain keeps you in control. Visit us at www.airtext.aero for more information and get started staying in touch today.